So in the Bible, in John 4, 23 and 24, we see the scripture that says, um, a time is coming and is now here where the true worshipers will worship God in spirit and in truth. And that's a bit of a weird thing to say. And that's it's not something that we really understand in our normal lives, I think. Like, what is spirit? What is truth? And I think there's a couple different ways to interpret that. But what it makes me think of is how when we believe in God and when we say we believe in Jesus as our Savior, we receive the Holy Spirit as a gift, um, which is our helper to help us live our life um, in a manner that is pleasing to God in a way that we can honor him and glorify him in everything that we do. And so that spirit comes alive in us and our spirit is the thing that brings, so it's not just life as in the way of like, I'm breathing and so I have life or I'm thinking and so I have life. It goes beyond that. Our spirit makes us come alive. Our spirit connects us to God in that way. And so I think when we're talking about worshiping in spirit, that means um, worshiping in alignment with the Holy Spirit and how he would lead us to the Father in that way. So if you have to look in the Trinity a little bit with that too, but you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and they all are together in one. And in that, the Spirit leads us to the Father every time. That is, they connect to each other, and the Father speaks to us through the Holy Spirit. So that's what I think it means to worship in spirit. And then in truth, I believe that is two parts. That is worshiping in the truth of the Word of God in the Bible. That is what we say is an irrefutable truth. It cannot be questioned. It cannot be denied. We have that truth, but also I believe it has something to do with our authentic response to God. And so worshiping in spirit and in truth then is a a fullness in us from the spirit of God pouring out again unto God from a place of truth, of biblical foundation, of, yeah, worshiping correctly, if you want to say in that way, in order to draw us closer to the Lord. And that is worship that is pleasing to him. If you want to know more about that, just check out us at W below.